This Sunday, the moon is giving us a special show, a total lunar eclipse visible across North and South America. This morning, Jim Garvin, chief scientist at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, joins us this morning to let us know when we can catch a glimpse of this really cool thing. Good morning, Jim. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Leslie. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us uh, what's going on. Um, what exactly does this mean? Well, this is a spectacular celestial light show where the moon passes between um, the Earth and the sun and the Earth's shadow is cast on the moon, making it glow an eerie coppery color. And for over 80 minutes, we'll be able to see this dance of our natural satellite, the moon and the sun and the Earth working together. And this happens a couple times a year, but this is a spectacular one. The moon is especially close to the Earth this time. And so you'll get a front row seat around 10 p.m. in um, central time to see this beautiful event. And it reminds us that we're going back to the moon to study our nearest neighbor. Yeah, that is so cool. Is this what we call the uh, blood red moon? We do call it the blood red moon, and it's also the flower moon Ooh. because in the month of May, we have flowers. The moon is in eclipse. What a better, you know, it couldn't be any better. Yeah. So we use these names for these events. Yeah, this is so cool, Jim. And, and you alluded to it just a moment ago, and we're going back to the moon. Tell us, you know, where is NASA at in, in the process? And it's just, it's incredible, um, you know, the, the continuation that, that is going on. Well, exactly. I mean, we went to the moon 50 years ago with Project Apollo. Spectacular. We're studying now some of the samples with new technologies just now available. We've been mapping the moon for 13 years with our Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, getting to know the moon up close, very personally to get ready for the first women and the first people of color to go explore the moon in person. And as a as a precursor to that, we're sending robotic spacecraft, the Viper rover is going to the moon to look for resources, to prospect with robotic tools to get ready for those first women and first people of color. We're also using commercial launch services and, and other services to carry our payloads to the moon to open that lunar frontier. We need to use the moon as our stepping stone into the rest of the solar system as we dream big, bold ideas about understanding our place in space. And so this time now, we're going back. Moon, here we come. <laughs> Moon, here we come. And as you mentioned, such an amazing moment in history where people of color are going to be there, women of color. Tell us, you know, we talked a little bit earlier in our show that we were using some of the moon samples from uh, the first trip to, to grow things. And, and they've grown, albeit with some hiccups. But why is it so important to go back to the moon? You mentioned a little bit of it, but, but really, as you said, it's the next step in our future. Well, for many reasons, the moon is this special mother nature's control experiment to see the workings of all the planets in our solar system and to project them forward as we dream of other places, sending someday women and people of color to Mars. But the moon's the first stop. And as the great explorers 500 years use islands as launching points, we want to learn from our moon in ways that also inform how our Earth works, the history of cosmic collisions They've affected the history of life on Earth. We see them on the moon preserved in the rocks. And to touch those lunar samples with the tools we now have available that can see things a billion times smaller than a meter, this is an amazing time. So the moon is a Rosetta Stone of sorts to learn the science of the cosmos right in our backyard. What a neat thing. And we can catch the moon in all its beauty on Sunday. Jim, if folks are interested in learning a bit more or maybe uh, little ones are thinking, I'm going to be the next person on the moon, where can they get some more information? Well, we have a, a nice web, uh, web place, moon.nasa.gov. You can go okay. at NASA Moon. Um, you can also follow on, on NASA Live, NASA TV Live, to see the eclipse if you don't have clear skies. So okay. let's go moon. All right, let's go moon. Thanks so much, Jim. We appreciate it. We'll be right back on Good Day.